Well, hey guys, Les here with Rudimental Gardening. I uh, thought I'd give you a short video on something going on with my okra plant that I did a little research on. And uh, while some of you might be well aware of this, uh, it was something that uh, I had seen before, never really took much attention to it. So I uh, did a little research and I'll tell you what I found. Plus, we'll take a look at the peppers and see where they are in the great pepper experiment. So stay tuned. All right, so here's my okra plant and actually got two plants in this 20 gallon grow bag. So I'm gonna see how this works. I've grown okra and grow bags before, but not two in a bag, but we're gonna see how this works but anyway if you got okra growing and if you look on the stem and under the leaves too you'll see it but uh, I think you can probably see it on this stalk the best get my camera in here and if you see these little white they're kind of clear sphericals on your stems and on the bottoms of your leaves I've, I've always seen these. I've never really worried about it too much. It didn't seem to hurt the plant. And if you touch them, they'll come off. And uh, so anyway, I did a little research and it turns out that this is a natural uh, product of the okra plant. And if you have these, it means that you have a healthy okra plant. So I guess uh, these are produced by the sap in the stem and they are created to attract beneficial bacteria and to help um, make the plant a stronger, kind of have a stronger immune system and prevent or help deter other uh, bad or non-beneficial bacteria and or insects. So they're all over this plant and uh, like I said, I've seen them before, but uh, uh, haven't really had any reason to think that it was bad. My plants have always looked good. I don't know if you can see them on the underside of this leaf here, but they're all over the place. I mean, the plant's creating them and uh, it means that your plant is healthy, it's happy, and it's trying to make it the healthiest it can be and prevent disease and other non-beneficial organisms from attacking it. My okra has got a little ways to go before it's, um, you know, producing, but it looks pretty healthy. And uh, I think, I think it's gonna do fine. You know, once these things start producing, it's like they go crazy and it's so hot here Really, the only plants I have growing right now in my garden are my peppers, which I'm doing a uh, the great pepper experiment. If you haven't seen those videos, you might click on them. I'm about to upload a new one with some uh, data on it, so you might be interested in that. Um, and I got some cantaloupe over here that's surprisingly going pretty good. I had to put a shade cloth up for my uh, strawberries they're not doing real well so I'm gonna actually hang it from the gutter up here so it'll have 100% coverage because this side of the house just gets plastered by the Sun in the evening after uh, you know starting about 2 in the afternoon to you know 6 it's just I mean annihilated with the Sun I never put up uh, the shade cloth for the peppers you know they can take the heat I know they would probably do better if I did have some shade cloth up but um, because of the extreme heat we've had here in North Texas uh, it's taken a toll on the quantity and quality of peppers for my experiment but I am getting pretty good harvests and I think overall we'll have uh, good data to um, do the experiment with so back to the okra, I uh, just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was kind of neat and uh, some people might see that and think they have 
some kind of eggs laid on there or something's attacking it but it's not it's just doing its thing and it's a happy plant if you see it and uh, so don't worry about it so if you like the content of the video please subscribe like hit the notification bell share and make a comment down below and uh, like I said if you're interested in the pepper experiment that I'm doing click on the I'll put a card up here you can click on that I'll put a link down in the description so I hope everyone's having a good gardening season I know there's so many that are in the heat like me but uh, I wish you luck with your gardens and I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching